Welcome to Nintendo Life. We'll make you want you want cookies. I'll take your cookies. You fucking whore. I'll take your cookies. All right, Konami. Oh boy, this is gonna this is gonna make me angry. Yep. Konami is committed to NFTs in order to preserve beloved content as commemorative art. I'm gonna steal your NFTs, Konami. Uh, right click, save. Save as. Oh. Oh, it doesn't let me. Right click, save as. You can't. What? Oh, it's because it's a link itself. It's a web P. That's oh, save image. Yeah, there, 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 there you, you go. go. Look, we just we just stole all your NFTs. Hey, I got your NFTs now, you little bitch. <laughs> Konami caught a bit of flag for making Castlevania's 35th birthday with the sale or for marking Castlevania's 35th birthday with a sale of NFTs based on the series. And it seems that the negative press surrounding the technology hasn't put the company off. In its latest financial results breakdown, Konami addresses the topic of NFTs in its digital entertainment section. We will also be selling NFTs in an effort to preserve content that has been loved by our customers as commemorative art. Full pause right there. Where is it going? Where's it going? Their pockets. Are you are you, are you pulling? No, no, no. Are you pulling all of the images of Castlevania and all your characters offline because you're trying to save it as commemorative art or preserve it? You say. Yet, where's it going? The customer. I'm just saying it's not going anywhere. You're just trying to resell shit to make money. Oh yeah, hundred percent. It's fucking ridiculous. Yes, one of the aforementioned Castlevania NFTs sold for over $26,000. Waste of money! Sorry, Tickle. Veteran publisher Team 17 was the latest company to feel the backlash against NFTs when it announced its Metal Worms platform. The company was forced to cancel the project and issue an apology when several of its development partners said they would no longer be working with the publisher. Well, you know, it's, yeah. But yeah, fuck NFTs. Nobody fuck anybody will... who wants to be tied to NFTs. You know what? Go sell it to a bunch of rich people and take their money. If it were if it were people, small people that were making money off this and robbing from the rich, I wouldn't give a shit. But that's not what's happening. Yeah, and it's all old art bullshit that you had available anyway. Like it, it doesn't. It's 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 basically a pissing match amongst fucking rich people. Yes. Um, which so, is, which is I guess okay, but it's gonna negatively impact the market, and it's gonna tilt it in favor of these rich fucking scumbags, and totally remove us from the nature of fucking gaming, which was freedom from the capitalist fucking hellhole that we all have to live every day. It's a fucking yeah. escapism. That's what they sold us back to us. I don't, this virtual I don't reality. like doing this. I don't like doing this ever. But I'm gonna quote. I'm gonna quote a Vin Diesel line from one of his movies right here. <laughs> Come on, Dick. Video games are all we got. Yeah. I mean, and they're going to turn it into shit. And they're doing it against, like, all the negative press. Like, they know it's going to go bad. They just watched Team 17 go fucking lose their shit over it. Like, what are you thinking, Konami? And at the same time, I remember not too long ago, in the distant past, when they started doing microtransactions in games. Yep. And people got all fucking people got more up in arms over that than they are with NFTs. Um yeah. and, and look what thing, happened. You know? But NFTs are fine. Many crypto people use it to launder or a preserved asset that avoids putting wealth in the bank. Now that I can agree with Vigi Tiaga. Yeah. But I think but you've got corporations constantly coming out. McDonald's, Wendy's, KFC, they're all releasing their own fucking line of NFTs. Who the fuck wants an NFT of a Big Mac? Someone. Yeah, it's you know, just I'm not gonna stupid. It's stupid to us, but then it's not for us. The only problem I have is when it starts affecting people that don't want to participate with something like yeah. that. Because what it does is it gives the people who can afford it, the elite already, more control over those who do not. It I feel like they're gonna somebody's gonna try to turn it into um no different than buying a new character. Oh, buy the NFT to unlock this character. Right. Or buy well, the NFT to unlock this skin. Yeah, I could see it for a skin. I couldn't see it for a character because if it's an actual NFT and only one person can have it, then that would that would be even more fucked up. Because then you basically have all the rich people have all the cool characters, and then everybody's left with the shit. You yep. know? If corporations are doing something, then it's shit not meant for every man. Yeah, basically. Yep. It's not for us for sure. It reminds of tall buildings that rich people use to hold assets. Yeah, like Billionaire Row in New York City, where they have these fucking million-dollar billionaire fucking mansions and these giant skyscrapers with, like, 
uh, they're all sold, but there's like only three people like living in the building. Really? Yeah, it's just an inve- it's just an asset. They're turning they're turning real estate into a more liquid market. Um, which is that does not spell good for the rest of us. No, that's absolutely terrible. Um, it's pretty fucked up. And what it does is it drives up the cost of the neighborhood for everyone else. Yep. It's gentrification. It's gentrification like three point on a massive scale. Yeah, it's fucking bad news. Um, on a massive scale. The best thing we can do is find a way to get them to all sit with the money by themselves. You know, and that's where I think crypto was meant to be. Um, a decentralization tool for us common folk to trade amongst each didn't other. Work. No, it didn't really work. Um, you have the problem of whales. You have the problem of people doing mass mining uh, and consuming resources like uh, at, yep. the, at, at, at the deficit of towns, entire towns of people and cities um, and all sorts of pollution, all sorts of environmental issues and all this shit. It's, it's turned into a nightmare when it was supposed to be a tool for decentralizing the market. And it still can do that, but we got a whole mess of other fucking problems. Artificial scarcity well, that drives prices up. Exactly. 100%. We talked about that earlier with these quote-unquote supply issues that we're having now right at Valentine's Day with flowers and candy. Yeah. Pretty soon there's going to be a fucking rose petal NFT. Yeah. NFT Valentine's. Oh. Ah. Ah. I'll develop it and sell it. I don't give a fuck. I'm a greedy capitalist pig at heart. That's why I'm jealous. <laughs> and it's, no. see, that's the thing, man. I don't even. I don't even want to be an uber wealthy person. I want. I. I would. Comfortability is the word that A squared and I use. I mean, it's not like if there was a massive upheaval in our life, we we you know anybody would be in trouble. But we're not one of those. You know, if a tire goes flat, we're in some shit. I know there are a lot of people out there that if they have a tire go flat on their car, they're fucking, you know, they might not eat for a day or two. Yeah. Um, but I, when I say, st- I would like the ability to, okay, my bills are paid. I've got some money in the bank. Uh, we're going to take a vacation once or twice a year. I want comfortability. I don't need to be uber wealthy. No, I think everyone I should, everyone should have the comfort of not having to worry about a roof over their head, being warm and clothed, eating. Uh, having your medicine your 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 health care yeah and and very controversial entertainment and fucking technology like our world is so connected people often criticize like poor people like oh well they even have a phone they fucking need it everybody you have a, yeah I you need a base say, level I, of technology to to survive yes. in our society and that yes. becomes that now is a basic need it's yeah, not a it want, it's not a luxury, no. it's a basic fucking need. And the way we design 100%. our the way we design our cities and towns to be a fucking uh car centric city and dependent on the automobile and, and large distance personal transportation, that is also a need and not just a want or a privilege. Driving is not a fucking privilege. It is absolutely necessary in the world we have fucking created. And now, now because of the chip shortage, new cars were put on hold, so the price of used automobiles has gone through the fucking roof. Which, what are you going to do when you can't afford that anymore? And they're shutting down the 3G networks, which there goes all the fucking affordable phones um, yep. and their connectivity. You're going to have to go upgrade your phone to a four or $500 fucking device just to stay connected yep. at a basic fucking Uh-oh. level. Oh, Dude, we just had to do that. Okay, we just did that because they told us that our 5G phones weren't compatible with their network when T-Mobile swapped over to Sprint. Mm -hmm. So we left and went to Verizon. Fucking cheapest phone on Verizon's website was like seven, eight hundred bucks. Yeah, it's a fucking joke. It's a scheme and we're falling apart and it's going to fucking eat. It's going to, it's going to. And it's all because they continue, all these, all these large companies continually promise their investors infinite growth. Yep. infinite growth no matter what we're going to get bigger and you can't do that like we started stated earlier there's a there's a tipping point where once you overcapitalize something it crashes see you later konami <laughs> fucking assholes uh well you know they released castlevania their, their newest release was on, was a mobile game anyway they said that they are getting away from console games and stuff like that they are strictly going to be a mobile platformer huh uh I guess on that level, there's some more accessibility, but at the same time, not everybody can have a phone that plays games well enough. Right. So, oh, man. 
All right, enough of this one. I'm getting pissed off.